Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. Hope your new year has started wonderfully and hope you got a lot of new year resolutions. I got quite a few but we're not going to talk about them yet because I'm still trying to figure them out. I wanted to do quick and easy, simple uh, winter everyday kind of makeup look. That's pretty much what I've been using every day. <laughs> So I really hope guys you will enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much guys for all the uh, lovely messages and Happy New Year wishes. Let's just jump straight into it and thanks for watching. Okay first of course I applied eye cream, moisturized my face and that's that. And then I'm going to try out these bad boys. So they are Christmas limited edition by Real Techniques. Real Techniques brushes by Sam and Nick for those who doesn't know. I think it's Sam and Nick. And they are amazing. Look at that. Packaging, gorgeous. In this set here, you got 300 tapered blush brush. Then you got 102 triangle concealer brush. And then two or three tapered shadow brush these ones here and then it comes with this really cute kind of like a white brush holder so you just put it in all three brushes but actually it fits one two three four five brushes 300 tapered blush brush and it says specially designed tip highlights and sculpt across cheeks for seamless finish really like um, a brush holder so you kind of like put it on the uh, table so it's not going to roll down it is kind of like a squarey one with the like edges here um so yeah it's really nice love it oh my god it's so soft but i kind of really want to use that for foundation i already have 100 uh, bold metal i think bronze powder brush or i'm not sure how you call it this one and it's kind of like tapered but really really kind of like fluffy and I can tell you that it washes amazing. I'm going to use this NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. I've been using a lot. It's a bit battered. Um, um, apparently it promises 16 hours wear. It's so easy to apply. It glides on very seamlessly and I absolutely love. Apparently there's like even tone technology in it. So there's a bit of green and um, gold pigments in it. So kind of green encounters redness and while gold kind of combats all the dullness. I would say for those who want to kind of like a natural medium to full coverage without looking cakey, this is great foundation and you've got to shake well before you use it. But it is an oil-free foundation that definitely delivers a full coverage but without looking cakey so to speak and you can always use for all skin types, sensitive, normal, oily, dry combination. So, yeah. The one thing I would say, if you got uh, dry patches here and there, it might slightly cling to um, dry areas, but other than that, you know, it's brilliant. Oh my God, literally, it just disappears. so lightweight oh my god that applied amazing I'm gonna apply a tiny bit more done wow I definitely love this combo 100% amazing okay for bronzer I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Golden Light bronzer which is this one here and it's absolutely perfect perfect bronzer for my skin color um it's not kind of like too orangey too browny or too light so it's great and it's matte which you use with bobby brown powder brush so i'm gonna like dusting tap off all the excess and i'm not going to contour it or anything like that i'm literally just going to warm up my skin where sun kind of like naturally hits you because we haven't got sun at the moment so 
my kind of like contour area that blends out upwards. Temples across the forehead. Right, I really need to concentrate how I'm applying makeup and order how I'm applying because it just stresses me out all this lighting and this setup because, you know, but anyway. So I'm going to apply my Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Concealer in shade Cool Sand. You're supposed to apply corrector first and then concealer, but I'm gonna skip corrector because, you know, it's not too much going on here. Um, I had a bit of sleep, but I'm going to uh, apply concealer. I'm gonna blend out with um, Beauty Blender. So I just want to brighten up my under eye area. I just found this concealer, it's just so lightweight again and gives a really nice finish. Um, it's a little bit kind of like a pinky undertone, so even out all that kind of like darky circles, so to speak. I'm sorry guys, I'm going completely random order, but I'm going to set concealer with my Makeup Forever HD press powder. I definitely, definitely loving this one. Morphe M501 brush, because it's kind of like a highlighter brush, but I'm using to set the concealer. I just like it because it's not too big and not too small. Um, I just kind of like go underneath my eyes, all over the nose and the forehead. I used to use this a Real Technique setting brush. I'm still using it and I absolutely love it, but kind of switching up a bit. For blush, I'm going to use this MAC Mineralize blusher called Please Yourself. I mean, <laughs> but it's really, really nice blusher. It's kind of gives you that frosty look, but not white kind of um, sheen. So it's really nice with a teeny bit of glitters in it. It's Perfect for winter. I'm putting on up of my cheeks and outwards. Really liking this for winter. I hope you guys can see it. Bobbi Brown Sunset Glow Highlighting Powder. And it looks like this. And it's gorgeous. It's kind of like a pinky, but at the same time, a bit of gold undertones there as well. Oh yeah, and I'm playing with Morphe M509 brush. It's perfect for highlighting. Mm. So next I'm going to use Benefit Gimme Brow in shade light to medium. My brows are just literally, looks like nothing. So I have to fill them in. I'm still into this natural brow kind of style. I think this year I'm going to pay a bit more attention to brows. I do say that every single year, but I will. They're just so blonde. I'm so jealous for those who got like really nice dark eyebrows. This is as adventurous as I go with my eyebrows, but I just found it's just very quick and easy and it's just perfect product for me, personally. Next up, I'm going to use this Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. Um, looks a bit dirty and buttered, but I absolutely adore these colours. This one and that one. I'm taking kind of like a big fluffy blending brush and warm taupe, and I'm going to put it right in my crease. This Saiva 228 crease brush, this one here, it's a um, crease brush blending brush but it's just a bit more tapered. So I'm taking that red ochre colour which is a bit more kind of like a ready brown. Only tiny tiny bit and again putting exactly in the crease again. Just gives you a bit of warmth um, and just open up your eyes a bit nothing too drastic so basically you're putting all in a crease I 
Also, I'm mixing that warm taupe and red ochre colour and I'm putting, kind of like joining together on lower lash line, probably kind of like halfway. Another good thing you could do is you can maybe put MAC paint pots or any kind of like um, eye base first, so therefore kind of like on your eyelids will be a bit more lighter. MAC Upwards Lash Black Mascara, this one here. I really like this mascara, it's a tiny little um, wand and it kind of helps me to really push my lashes up. Next up I'm going to use this Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics um, Waterline um, Eye Pencil. So what this dude does, it brightens up your eyes even more and makes it kind of look a bit more fresher. I hope. <laughs> and the last thing guys is lips, as you can see, yeah, my mate here, this time is not on lip but it's just right above and you know, winter time, summer time, spring time, I just cannot go anywhere without my buddy, which is cold sore, so it's always there at the moment and I have gone through three of them no joke at all this is Clarins instant light lip comfort oil I love it so this is pretty much like nearly gone um, they do three three types one is like original one then it's a bit more pinky and then it's a bit more ready it's really nice kind of that big Dover applicator like I said it looks pinky but there's no color really and the very last thing is I'm going to spray this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray which helps my makeup to stay put for all day long. So this is kind of my everyday makeup look guys um, at the moment and it's very simple and easy and I think it looks quite alright. So <laughs> I really hope guys you enjoyed it and see you in my next video. Bye!